Hello and welcome everyone to another Power BI video. I'm Sumit from Nice Software Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to use local images in a visualization using Power BI Desktop. For this video I'm using a dataset that contains a list of car models manufactured by Chevrolet along with various specifications of each model like the body, engine, fuel efficiency, safety and so on. I've already created a simple report using Power BI Desktop that contains a clustered column chart that shows various car models by the selected parameter which are listed on the slicer on the left side. So when I select the safety parameter from the slicer, the chart shows the top car models by safety ranking. Similarly, when I select the power parameter from the slicer, the chart shows the top car models by engine power. This makes it easy to find out the best performing model by the parameter of your choice. Now I'd like to see an image of the car using the simple image visual every time I click on a bar of the column chart. But I've got a couple of problems here. The usual way of using images in Power BI is to have a column in your dataset that contains anonymous image URLs. Unfortunately, I don't have that. Now I do have a folder where I have images of the car models. However, those are local images which Power BI doesn't quite work with. Like I said, the tool only works with online images. The obvious question now is, can I somehow use these local images in my dataset and show them in form of a visual? Well, with a little bit of M query and some local transformations, you can. So let's see how that can be done. First, I'd like to go back to the report I created and then click on Edit Queries. On the Edit Query screen, I'll create a blank query with a custom function. So right click on the left panel, go to New Query and select Blank Query. Now right click and rename the query as Image to Binary. Right click on the query again and this time click on Advanced Editor. In the Advanced Editor screen, type this M script that converts local images to Base64. Take a close look at this code carefully. Click on Done to save the query. Now this function query won't do anything as long as it doesn't get invoked by the user. So the first thing I'd like to do is import the local images and then invoke this function query to convert the local images to Base64. So click on New Source, select Folder from the list of sources and then click on Connect. On the Folder window, click on Browse and then select the folder where the images are stored and then click on OK. The system would show the list of images found in the specified folder. Now to convert them to Base64, click on Transform Data. Go to the Add Column menu and then click on Invoke Custom Function. This will create a new custom column using the function query you created earlier. So, name the column as Binary Image. Select Image to Binary as the function query that you'd like to invoke. Then choose the Content column. This is the column on which the function would be applied. Click on OK to invoke the function. Now you should see a new custom column created that contains the image URL appearing as binary. We also need to have a common column in this table so that it can be modeled with the other tables in the existing dataset. We have the name column here that can be used to create a relationship with other tables. However, we need to remove the file extension from this column. So right click on the name column, go to split column and then select by delimiter. The system automatically detects period as the delimiter. So just click on OK to split the column by period. Now we've got the model names in a separate column. Rename the column as model names. You can also remove the other column where the file extension is appearing. Now go to the home menu and then click on close and apply and let the model get updated. After the model gets updated, Navigate to the data view. Just observe that we already have a table called model list that contains a unique list of model names. Now go to the model view and then create the relationship between model list and picks table using the common column. The next thing I'd like to do is to look up the binary image column into the model list table just to have everything in a single table. To do this, navigate to the data view again and expand the model list table. Go to the modeling tab and click on new column.
type the following DAX expression to look up the binary image column from the PIX table. Now select the newly created column and then categorize it as image URL. This completes all the backend configuration we needed to do. Now let's create a simple image visual to show these images. Navigate to the report view. I've already downloaded the simple image visual from Marketplace. Click on the visual to create the empty frame. Resize the frame to fit it properly in the empty layout area. Have the frame selected. Expand the model list table. Drag the binary image column and then drop it on the image URL drop box. Now this will show the image in the visual which is created completely using local resources. Just to make a few minor formatting changes, navigate to the format tab and expand the image settings section. Now set the scaling as normal and then set the image alignment as top center. Now click on any one of the bars of the column chart and that should filter the image visual to show the image of the selected car model. So this is how you can use local images in a visualization using Power BI Desktop by using a little bit of mQuery and some local transformations. For any further queries, please reach out to us on the contact details flashing on your screen right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.